Welcome to Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Today, we're gonna be searching for some crappies. I got a new toy. Well, it's new to me. Garmin Live Scope UHD 93SV with LVS32. We're gonna see if we can find some uh, crappies with that baby, see how it works. I have not used it yet. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm not checking the ice right now because looks like there's been uh, four wheeler tracks out here already. So it should be able to hold me walking. I'm walking on the four wheeler trail. I got my arsenal of stuff. We got the live scope with a summit extendable and retractable pole. And I brought my hummingbird. <clears throat> just in case plus I really love the map on there so wanted to bring it with just in case something would happen before I fully trust the Garmin live scope here we go it's kind of misty and foggy out right now it's a decent walk so let's take our time and get there oh boy finally made it and as you can see where I'm going to start drilling holes there is no holes except that one but it's a deeper part of the lake so we'll see what happens here we go we're going to be fishing anywhere from 18 to 25 feet First hole I drilled. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, if that is all fish like I think it is, they are stacked. Here we go. Being that this is my first hole that I drilled, I didn't need to use the live scope yet because I'm pretty sure that's all fish. So before I do my first drop, I want to show you what I'm using. I have a Wonderbug by Simcoe. Okay, they're by Cyflies with a red maggot. And I have my new custom bullwhip with a Daiwa QZ750 paired with three pound line and we're gonna go to pound town it's time here we go first drop let's see what happens <clears throat> going down going down drop above the school not as aggressive as i thought they would be and there's some coming to check it out there's one come on oh here comes one Looks decent. And we're on. First one. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a fighter. That's a fighter, guys. Ooh, it likes to battle. Come on. I, I can already tell that I love the feel of this rod. It's the Tuned up customs bull whip. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad start, guys. It's not a bad start. <laughs> that's a slab. Wow. First drop. <clears throat> Nobody else out here. This is why you keep your panfish lakes a secret. Right here. Because it is just awesome to be able to go to a lake and not have that much pressure that's just that thing is awesome look at that well let's keep fishing all right <clears throat> drop number two see if we can keep producing oh 
No one tapped it. Okay, as you can see, I have the handle pointed to my back right. Those are all fish back there. Swimming around. So it looks like about 60 feet behind me to my right, there's fish. Now I'm turning it to my left, that's directly behind me. Back to my left, there's a bunch. Turning. Ooh, that's to my left front. So it seems like there's fish all around us. It just depends on where I want to drill some holes. And that's to my front right. You can see down there that there's a bunch of fish right off the bottom. All right, let's start drilling holes about 50, 60 feet away. See what happens. I just rigged up the pole so that wherever this is pointing, that's where the fish are. Makes it a lot easier when you want to walk it off. So you can see in the background, there's a school of fish. This should be directly that way, about 50 feet. And voila, <laughs> there they are. I'm gonna drop down, see if we can get one right away. I'd say there's about seven, seven inches of ice down there. For sure, six. Oh, we already got one interested party. Two of them chasing, here come. And boom, oh, ripped it right out of its mouth. Ready, set, go. Oh, pit. I don't know if you see that in the video, but the rod tip. The slack came out of it when that one hit. This one definitely doesn't feel as big as that first one. And it's not. <clears throat> chasing, 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 and on. I was about two feet above the camera by the time I set the hook on that one. That one's, that one's okay. One size eater. We got at least two or three hours of fishing left, so we'll keep chipping away. This one looks like it's a little nicer. Come on. Keep raising, keep raising, keep raising, and it's on. Actually looks like when it gets up here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can just tell that it was a better line. It's definitely a better line than the, the other ones that have been scoping it out. Pretty nice crap eye right there. We'll put him in the frying pan. What a beautiful overcast day today. It's a little misty. Got the lake to myself. Fairly calm out. Just wonderful. Can't complain. This is what weekends are for, right guys? All right. Right now I figured it'd be a good time to talk about why I ultimately Finally got a Garmin Live Scope. Some people might say that's cheating, which I was one of those people. But for me, my justification for the investment is I, uh, I'm a full-time teacher and I coach basketball in the winter. And I have a family with a wife and three kids. So, uh... To me, it's about efficiently using your time. I could walk around this whole area and drill a whole bunch of holes and uh, still get results. If 
you guys look and have watched for the last the last year of me making YouTube videos, you saw all I've had is this hummingbird, and I've caught plenty and plenty of panfish. But I do that by searching lake maps, which I still will do and love to do. But uh, it's just about being efficient because if I can just scan and not have to drill as many holes, well then I'm fishing more versus searching more. And that's what it's about. We're fishing, right? I feel the way that technology keeps advancing, like now there's a LVS 34 and there's the Live Scope XR. And uh, the more and more people that keep getting this stuff, we just have to be conscious, conscientious of uh, how we fish lakes. I feel like I usually, if I catch a limit of panfish, I usually don't keep another limit out of that lake again the whole winter because I want to keep coming back and enjoying it. And for the future of our anglers to be able to keep catching fish. So it's just about fishing responsibly, keeping what you're going to eat and uh, get a nice meal and it's not a bad thing to catch and release guys it's not only good for you going back to the spot but it's good for other anglers and you can just keep enjoying the same areas over and over again without fishing it out so just keep that in mind when you get technology like this and it makes it easier to find fish to just not overrun a spot or overfish a spot and and uh, end up wrecking it because it could take a long time for it to bounce back and it possibly might never bounce back you just never know so that's my two cents on why i got the live scope i'm still going to use both but now when uh, the wife and kids come she can use the hummingbird and i can use the live scope and we can both have a screen all right back to fishing here comes one this one looks like it's pretty nice. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. It doesn't feel as nice as it looked on the screen. I'll say that right now. Oh, <laughs> you probably saw that. It got off right at the hole. There we go. That is what I like to see. I don't like to see a huge school. It seems like when you find the little pockets of fish, that's usually where the bigger ones are. Let's see. Let's see if what I said is comes true. Here it comes right away. Oh, just bumped into it. Come on. It's coming back for more. Come on. See, see what we pull up. Ooh, he's a little digger. He's digging. Ooh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. And he's trying to come out of the hole. <laughs> it's a pretty nice one, but since I got a bunch of time to fish, I'm going for a little bit bigger than that. If it gets towards the end, I don't have many. But then we'll start keeping ones like that. Pull it away, a little cat and mouse. Mm. He's like, nope. I just saw my buddy go flying up the hole. But this one's like, I'll come eat ya. Wee! <laughs> oh, I think there's a northern down there. It's definitely something bigger. That one's that one's decent. Well, we'll keep that one. That one's that one's a good eater. Nothing wrong with that one. Just sitting there waiting. He's like, hey, what about me, guys? I don't want to be in the party. Don't worry. We'll hook you up. Here he comes. And... 
on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, stay on. Ooh, coming up the hole backwards. That one's okay. It's okay. Switch gears now. I put on a forage minnow tipped with red maggots. Just to see what would happen. It's one of my other go-tos. Got one to commit. Oh. First time catching one on this reel this year, so I don't know how tight to set the drag, but oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. That'll eat. That'll eat just fine, guys. Let's get back down there. There we go. Forage minnow from Northland Tackle. You got to have variety sometimes. You just never know. <laughs> Takes a little longer to get down there, but... Sometimes that's what triggers crappies too, is the fall rate. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then he's on. Fish on. I think I need to take the drag on the tad though. Just a click. Maybe another click. That one's been caught before. We got another one all fired up. Come on. Come and get it. Oh, yeah. It looked like a nicer line on the graph, but neighbors. Once they get to the top, they're all fired up. That's another good eater though. Perfect size eaters. Look at it. Let's look at it. It's pretty good. You go join your buddy. Only on early ice, folks. Only on early ice. Can you get that to happen? how far it goes up my arm that is a nice crappie wow here we go <laughs> that's a nice one right there frying pan it is i got 
that one triggered. I got it triggered. Hook, line, and sinker. It's not as big as the last one, though, but it's still a fish. Not even close to the bait. Holy. <laughs> it's the little cookie cutter. Oh, we got one all fired up. <laughs> that one took about three seconds to hit. Hmm. <laughs> we'll eat that one. The heck, this one's really pale. Not bad. Not bad. What? Earlier on, a golden lab came out here. I have my fish sitting on by my sled. And it came and sniped one and ran away. So that's pretty cool. There we go. Stay on now. Come on. Stay on there. <laughs> mm. It's not huge, but it's okay. Good eater size. Might as well. I'm leaving soon. Well, I uh, completely forgot to do my outro from last night's fishing. Got dark pretty quick. Forgot my headlamp in the truck, so I walked with my phone light and uh, completely forgot to do my outro. So, hopefully you like this video. And subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps it growing. And since I forgot to do the outro, this would be a good time to introduce this. The new Summit Shuttle for Live Scope. I'll be making a video on it all put together. Thank you for watching Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Until next time, peace. See you.